This video will illustrate how to find the distance between two points when the two points are found either in a horizontal line or vertical line. In this situation, we can use the regular version of the distance formula as shown here in blue and here in red. And we will correctly find the distance between x and y or between a and b. But there are shortcuts for these formulas. Let's start with the regular versions of the formula though and find out what the distances are. In the case of AB, I'm replacing x1 and y1 with 2 and negative 1, and replacing x2 and y2 with 2 and negative 5. When I plug these values in, I get the distance formula simplifying like this. I end up with a distance of 4 units. When I plug the values for x and y into the distance formula up here in blue, the simplification looks like this. Distance is 3 units. But because these points are found in a horizontal line or vertical line, we can use a shortcut version of the distance formula. Let's look at the red AB situation first. The shortcut formula looks like this. Distance is equal to the absolute value of y1 minus y2. If I plug the y coordinates of a and b into this, shortcut formula, the simplification looks like this, and I find that the distance is 4 units, which I already knew from using the regular formula. So I'm getting the right answer. I can also reverse the positions of y1 and y2, change my opinion of which is the starting point, which is the ending point between a and b, and the formula will look like this. I still get 4 units as my answer. This happens because the formula includes the absolute value. Since negative 1 minus negative 5 is equal to positive 4 and the absolute value of positive 4 is 4, I'm getting the right answer of 4. If I do it the other way, negative 5 minus negative 1 is equal to negative 4, but of course the absolute value of negative 4 is also positive 4. I'm getting the right answer either way. The formula is flexible in this way. Now why does it work to use such a short formula instead of the regular one up here that we use? It is because whenever you have two points that are found in a vertical line, one of them directly above the other, like we have with AB, we will always end up with our x-coordinates cancelling into a zero the way they did in this formula. That means the x-coordinates are not really influencing the answer. It's really what's happening with the two y-coordinates that is giving us the correct answer of four units. So the shortcut formula incorporates that by using the absolute value and eliminating the x-coordinates we end up with a smaller formula that still finds the right answer. Of course, this is going to work the same way with x, y with a horizontal line. The formula looks like this. Distance is equal to the absolute value of x1 minus x2. So this time only the x coordinates are considered, and for the same reason. If we plug the values in, we end up with the absolute value of negative 3, so the answer is 3 units, the same answer we got before. If we plug the values in in the opposite order, we still get an answer of 3 units. This is happening because whenever you have two points that form a horizontal line like x, y, what's happening over here in the regular formula with the y coordinates is always the same. You will have a number minus itself giving a 0, and it cancels itself out of the formula. So really, it's only the x coordinates that are influencing the answer. We create a shortcut distance formula only incorporating the x-coordinates and using the absolute value to make sure we don't get a negative distance. This is how we take advantage of the special little shortcut formulas for the distance formula whenever we have a vertical line or horizontal line situation.